before I started breeding, I was I was the vice president um, of international marketing for one of the biggest watch companies in the world. I'd been there for 16 years, and the business was having some really hard times, a recession, etc. And I could see the writing on the wall. So when, when they let the whole marketing team go, and when I said to myself, what do I really want to do? Do I really want to go back into corporate America, which I'd, I'd spent 30 years in corporate America. I was actively breeding dogs and showing dogs and trying to do the two worlds at once, you know, working corporate America and breeding dogs, was really complicated. And, and it was a tough, a tough, what do I do? Do I just say, okay, I'm gonna breed dogs now? Can I make that work? That was hard. But once I, once I made the decision that I didn't, I didn't think there'd be a lot of things about corporate America I'd miss, then I was fine. I'd had dogs growing up with my parents, and I decided I wanted to get a dog, and I did. That's when I kind of thought, like, I want to start showing dogs a little bit, and uh, it was just this thing in the back of my mind, and so I got my second dog as a as a potential show dog, and then when my first one died, then I got another one because the second one was lonely, and it, it kind of mushroomed from there. Little retrievers are, do not look alike, much to what everybody thinks. They're very different, different style, different structure. You find that, you travel, um, you train them a lot, you, you give them a bath every week, you condition the coat. It's a, it's a, when you see those show dogs out there, as perfect as they look, there's a huge amount of work that goes into that, huge. A dog out of my, only my second litter, was my first champion, and she became, she won a, a real big uh, regional specialty, and she was, what was she, two and a half, I think, and then when she was three, I showed her at Westminster, we, we made it into Westminster, we didn't win, but we made it. If you're on the fence about um, pursuing your dream or doing what you do, that's a really hard decision and you, you have to, it's a personal thing. Anybody, the last thing anybody, or at least that I ever want to do, is look back, you know, when I'm ancient and say, I, w I wish, I wish I had done this, I wish I had done that. If you really love something, really, truly, truly love something, which I do with these dogs, then I think you, you have to go for it. I think you just do. Check out these other videos guaranteed to make your day. We have new videos every week, so click that nifty little subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. For more awesome stuff, go to hooplaha.com and smile on.